Hello everyone, my name's Sean Scott and I'm the application engineer for the evacuation systems here at Advanced. And today we're looking at how to change the tone of our sounders with our evacuation systems. So I've already performed the download procedure. There is another video available that explains that download procedure. Once I've took that download, I'm going to just quickly look at the view and edit panel details and down in our site list on the left hand side here I can open this up and I can see on the loop the sounders that have been downloaded and if I just select the show details icon I can see all of the devices there and we have already allocated device text and changed the sounders to the relevant output groups and if I just right click on this screen I can select quick edit and we can see there the location text for each sounder, its zone and zone text and the output group that the sounder has been allocated to. So in this particular panel we can see, you scroll down, we've got five floors and each floor contains four flats. So we have output group 100 for the ground floor, output group 101, 102 and so on, covering our five floors. Those output groups are already pre-programmed for you with the, eva the evacuation system. If we close this down and look at our view edit output cause and effect, even though this particular site has only got five floors, you can see we have up to 32 floors covering 32 evacuation zones pre-programmed for you and you can just assign your sounders to the relevant output groups within these output groups and on this particular file we are using just the first five output groups for our five floors so we've got the ground floor the first floor second third and fourth that's our five floors and you can see within each output group we have a line of cause and effect using the term style zero at our ringing style our ringing pattern and which evacuation switch it's controlled by so that's already pre-programmed for you so if you are required to use a different tone from the default tone of the sounder if it's interfering with some other equipment on site, the, the sound is the same we need to have a a totally different tone then we need to create a, and use a different ringing style to create a different ringing style we select the next icon along which is view and edit ringing styles and we can see there ring style zero which is our default style if we highlight style zero you can see nothing can be changed nothing can be amended with style zero but if i select ringing style two for example you can see within the ringing style details box down the left hand corner here we have a tone option so tone one is the default tone and if we just refer back to the the data sheet for that sounder you'll you'll see a list of tones matching the uh the drop down list here so what i can do if i look at my list of tones and i see for example i want to use tone two instead of tone one then I just simply select tone two. So now this particular ringing style, so style three, for example, if we choose to use style three, it will turn on with style with their uh, tone two. And remember with the evacuation systems following BS8629, we have to use the same tone throughout. So we can't have different floors using different tones. Every single sounder must use the same tone throughout. So now we simply have to change our programming with our cause and effect so that our output groups use ringing style three instead of the default ringing style zero. And to amend that, we go back to our cause and effect screen. And remember in this particular scenario, we are just using the first five groups. So if I highlight my first group which is the ground floor group group 100 and I highlight the line of cause and effect that's already in there using style zero 
And if you remember, we amended ringing style three to the tone that we wish to use. And all I need to do is in the left hand side here, I've got the input event details. And we can see where it says style zero. I can just click on this drop down box and just change that to now use ringing style three. And then onto the next group. And we'll just follow the same pattern. Style zero now becomes style three. And for all of our five groups we are using on this particular project, we change all of them down to style three. So if you are using all 32 evacuation zones, so you're using all 32 output groups, then you do have to go through each one, changing them accordingly to the correct ringing style that you wish to use. Once that's complete, you can save that file and transfer that back up into the panel and perform your testing. Again, there are other videos available that show that procedure.